welcome to this meditation class. It, as you know, this is a part of the Atma Bodha class, but today we're going to focus on something a little bit different. It's a, it's a reflection on the year we had and setting the focus for next year it's ahead of us. So it's an end of the year thing that you know which usually we do in the last week. So when the year comes to its closure, it is recommended to do it. It's also rec recommended to do at the end of the day, at the end of the week, if you want, or just every month or every year. It's it's a time to reflect what have we done how we have gone and was it how we wanted what we can change um, were we satisfied with the, with the things we've done do we need to have more care or attention or restraint at some parts of life and what could we do to have more happiness in our lives more you know, bring more well-being into our lives and into the life of others around us. So it's going to be a one-hour sitting of practice. If you want to lie down, it's okay, but don't fall asleep because you're going to miss the good parts. Okay. <laughs> so make yourself comfortable. And I will do my best uh, having the philosophy thing also in it. The usual um, Friday night Atma Bodha philosophy thing. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. We will chant all three times. So take a deep breath in. And keep your eyes closed, relax. So first we'll settle into the body. Now then I will invite you for a set of reflections to con consider where you have been and where would you like to go. So begin with some slow deep breath. So settle in, arrive, do whatever you need to relax and shift gears from the mode of doing, accomplishing, to a space that is more inward and more relaxed. Take some time just to feel your body sitting. So notice the weight, the heaviness of the body. So 
Feel the contact between the floor, the chair and your body. And from the sensation of sitting, develop the awareness of the present moment. You're filling the body with awareness. The awareness of the body, awareness of sitting, now take a moment to think about all the incredible things your body did for you this past year. So did it move you wanted? Did it enable you to go to places to see people to create memories for you? Did it survive injuries, illnesses? How did it thrive? So re reflect. Take a deep breath in, inviting in gratitude for this incredible body who continues to show up for you every single day. Now, as you sit, notice the body is breathing. So allow the sensation of the breath to come into your awareness. Allow this sensation to soothe your mind. And as you breathe in, feel that sensation associated with 
the inhalation. And as you breathe out, feel the sensation associated with relaxing, the relaxing qualities of the out breath. And whenever your mind wanders away, guide it back to the simple experience of sitting and breathing. simply sitting and breathing. Now I invite you to turn your attention towards reflecting, considering how things have gone this year, just in general. So shift your attention to your work and think about significant moments in your career that you experienced in this past year. All the big and small things that brought you where you are now. Did you start a new job? Transition your business? Or maybe you retired? You ended your career? Did you hit a big milestone of success? You win, perhaps you win recognition. Maybe you took a bold, scary step into a new venture that required an immense amount of self discipline. Perhaps you experienced low moments that forced you to shift and change in ways that have ultimately been huge blessings for you. Have you grown as a professional? this year. Again, take a deep breath and appreciate this year, year's ups and downs that brought you to this moment right now in this reflection, meditation, mm -hmm. up 
appreciating who you have become. Now shift your attention from your professional life to your family life. What meaningful moments did you experience with your immediate, extended or chosen family? How have you grown as a mother or father, sister or brother, wife or husband, daughter or son, grandmother or grandfather? What happened this year with your family that changed you, that shifted you, and livened you? So think about these moments, memories, thoughts gathering around you and your as you identify, identify them. Take a deep breath in again and feel the gratitude for all of these moments. And breathe out as you relax a little more, a little further. And now, again, think about yourself. Think about you. A you that is beyond your body, beyond your career, your relationships, and even your thoughts and beliefs. How have you evolved this year? Who have you become? Have you left behind some shame, self-criticism, or limiting beliefs? Have you embraced more confidence, self-love, or grace? Have you lived a little bit more bravely? On apologetically and aligned have you made hard decisions or taken on a lot or made big mistakes can you hear your inner voice your true self just a little more clearly than you could last year. 
So who have you become? Feel it with every in, in breath and out breath. And feel a smile spread softly across your face. Maybe even a tear or two gather in your eyes. As you realize how amazing you are. So with this reflection and meditation, Give yourself the space to honor yourself. You have become a year older, wiser, more experienced. And now a bit more specifically, cast your mind back again and ask yourself the question, what has gone really well this year? What have I done that I feel happy about? And let's just see what comes. Are there ways you contributed to others or followed through your intentions? So just allow your mind to roar freely and see what comes about how you used your time and energy. Whenever you notice your mind wandering, or blaming, etc., remind yourself what was good. Notice what it feels like to have helped out, to have followed through on something. What's the feeling in your body when you think of, of things that line up with your values? Notice where you feel it in your body and what it feels like. Try to be specific of the event, an actual moment where you spoken in line with your values. Let yourself be taken by how it feels. Breathe in any pleasant, soothing emotions, soak it in, note this is how it feels to live, 
in line with my intentions and values. So recognize this and consider how you could have more of this in the future. And now, let us look at the other side. So then feel the body. Body being still. And again, let this stillness be the basis of your awareness. Consider where you have fallen short of your expectations or just did not act in line with your values. Were there ways where you let yourself or others down? Were there things you have said or done out of line As you cast your mind back, allow it to run, have a sense of kindness and tenderness to things you recall. Again, be specific as much as possible in your recollection rather than generalizing events. So think of a specific incident where you could have done differently. So bring the spirit of tenderness and compassion to that memory. Our intention here is to learn rather than to judge. So again, once again, notice how it feels where you did not act in line with your values. Are there feelings of sadness, remorse or regret? These are natural emotions helping us to learn. They are like feedback mechanisms in the heart. They are catalysts for wisdom. So bring a gentle, caring awareness to the memory. Touch the pain if you can. Soften around it. Bringing gentleness to yourself. Life is hard, we just do the best we can. Hold your shortcomings with tenderness. So 
from this experience of honest remorse, forgiveness and compassion are born. When we accept our mistakes, our hearts grow lighter. Through acknowledging our challenges, we develop understanding of ourselves and compassion for others. So consider what you can learn from this experience. Knowledge, this is how it feels. I do not live in line with my deepest intentions and values. So how can I do it differently? Is there, are there any creative ways, ideas? support you growing, going forward, have more patience or perhaps restraint to be kinder and more understanding, maybe to speak up more often, to let your voice be heard. set a clear intention around one of these ideas about how you would like to live differently. About how you would like to shift closer to that feeling of integrity and show up in a way that is in line with your values. So you have lived another extraordinary year in lockdown. No matter how many challenging moments you had, no matter how many moments of bliss you had, it's all been yours and have brought you here to this moment, to this reflection. This moment is yours to create. To know the future is to create the future. So it is a fresh moment, fresh day, and a fresh year ahead. The story you want to tell next year is up to you. Be created.
Be the architect of your life, of your future. Having more awareness in the moment, more freedom to create. In the moment, there is creative living. Let all this reflection to fade. Come back to the simplicity of your body, the simplicity of your breathing. Taking in fresh new air and releasing, letting go with the out breath. So again, just feel the body, it's breathing in, breathing out. So settling in to this moment as the witness. The witness of the body and the breath. So as the witness, I am other than the body. So I must be free from changes such as growth, birth, wrinkles, senility and death. As a witness I have nothing to do with these or with the sense objects. I am witnessing them. I am witnessing sound, taste, and so on. So that is verse 32 from Atma Bodha. This is called Manana. Reflection on the body as something other than me. The sense organs and the experience sense objects. I am witnessing them. I must be something else, not them. Try to see your body just exactly how you see or look at an object in your environment. Try to develop that sense, the same witness. The witness is witnessing the window, 
table carpet. It's the same witness that's witnessing the body. So this is your casual, sorry, the, this is your gross body. So this is something concrete, something tangible. So the subtle body, the mind is abstract. It's always more elusive than the concrete. To see the mind, the attitude of the witness is more difficult than to see the body. So we need to develop the ability of stillness, patience, to see how thoughts come and go. See the change it takes place in the subtle body, in the mind. Just like the breath that comes in and goes out. So I am other than the mind. I am the witness of the mind. I am free from sorrow, attachment, aversion, fear. I am pure. I am without breath, without the mind. I am peace beyond the mind, beyond thoughts. So this is verse 33. I am other than the mind, intellect and ego. So this is a bundle, a subtle body.
Psalm 32, Shankara said, I am other than the body. 33, I am other than the mind. Because I can witness all these. I am the witness. A little bit more. Stay as a witness. Whether it is the body, the breathing, or your thoughts. Work on establishing yourself in this witness attitude. Whichever works for you. few more times, inhale and exhale. To finish the practice, we will chant Om three times and Shanti three times. So breathe in deeply.
शांति 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 Hi everyone. Namaste. Nice 